Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We give thanks and we give praise for this day. We were kind of absent Sunday. We had other things going on. But thank God we are here still with the word of God today. This is uh, Minister Joan Harry, and this is Word Faith Ministry. And we thank God that we are able to come before you today with a word. So let us pray. Let's go into prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you right now, Lord God. For you are great, you are good, you are mighty, and you are loving, and you are kind. And we thank you for a brand new day today. Father God, that we walk in victory. We walk in victory because of your son, Jesus Christ, that we can be overcome through faith in him. And we thank you right now, Lord God, as your word go forth, Father God, have your way. I speak not now, none of me, but all of you, God. Speak to your people. Speak to us, God. Speak to our minds. Speak to our hearts, God. And heal that need to be healed right now. Every brokenness, every need, supply. You the one that supply these needs because you know what we need before we even ask you. Father God, and I have asked you this morning to touch my lips with the cold from your office. Father, none of me but all of you. Check every word and every vocabulary word that comes out of my mouth. Father God, that it's only you and the people see you. None of me but all of you. And Father God, as you go forth, we'll have an ear to hear what the Spirit is telling us today. We thank you. We love you. And thank you, God, for loving us so much more. And no weapon formed against this ministry from the enemy is going to prosper. In every tongue, they're judging it. Father God, I speak right now that those tongues be condemned and made ashamed. Father, we give you praise and we give you thanks right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Today, our word today is what shall separate you from the love of Christ. Glory be to God. What can separate us from the love? Of Christ. God already proved his love towards us when he gave his son, Jesus Christ, that we may have that life and have it more abundantly through Christ Jesus as we continue to what? Trust in the Lord with all your heart, not some of your heart, but all of your heart. Trust in the Lord with your whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. When nothing can separate the God love us. It said nothing can separate, no matter what you are facing today. Nothing can separate you from his love, continuing love in you. Because he already proved that love 2,000 years ago. He proved that love because he gave his only begotten son for us, just for our sin for self. That he took on our sin upon him and buried it. Come on. That those that believe in him will not perish. Those that trust in the Lord, you have life and you have a new life. Those that's in Christ Jesus have what? They have a new life. A life. More abundantly life in every area of your life. That's a life of righteousness. God is from his hand because you trust in the Lord. Glory be to God. Let's go into the word. Hallelujah. I am so excited by what God has given me or us today. He give it to me sometimes. He give it to you first. For you got to get it. Then he let you share it with others. Glory be to God. So we're going to go to Romans 8. Let's go there. Romans 8 and 35. It says this. We're going to start with 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Come on. That's a question. What's going on in your life that will separate you? Nothing. Whatever you're facing. If with your faith and trust in Christ Jesus, and you are anchored in him, no matter what you're facing, it's going on to tell us. What can separate? You say, who can separate? Who should separate us? Come on. From what? 
the love of Christ. Who? Me, who? Anything that coming in your life, God still loves you. No matter what you are facing today, no matter what trials you're going through, it says this. It says sheer tribulation. Come on. Your trials. No matter what you're going through today, it would never stop God from loving you. Because he's always there, even in the midst of your trials and your tribulation. It says this. Our uh, distress, our uh, persecution, our uh, famine, our uh, nakedness, our uh, peril, our uh, sword. These are questions. Can any of these things separate God from love, no matter what we're going through, no matter how you've been hurt of by anybody, how you've been disappointed by certain things in our life. Still, we can call on the name of God because he'll come sweep right on in there. He's still, that love is still there helping you going through these trials. His love is still going with you. His love is still going there giving you strength when you are facing these things. That's what it is saying right there. With the love of God came nothing. With the love of Christ, nothing. The what Christ has already done, nothing can't separate. That means nothing what you go through or face in daily life. Come on, glory be to God. Will not stop God from loving you. Will not stop. We have to get an understanding of this. It said, who shall separate? See? us from the love of Christ. Shall tribulation, that means when, you, when you're going through so, will you stop loving God? Will it prove to us when, when, when you lose a lot of things, will it stop you from loving God? No. It's going to continue you to love God. You're going to continue God to love you, really. But will we allow those things to separate us and feel like God don't love us? This is what it means. God still loves you. You got to believe because you ain't crying. You got to believe God still loves me no matter what I'm going through. God still loves me because he already proved it. If I'm in Christ Jesus, then I don't no matter what I'm facing, I still hold on to God. I still cry out to God. Help me, Lord, because I know he's the one that loves me. And that love will continue to be there no matter what I face in daily life. No matter what we're going through, what nothing can stop God from what? Loving us. Nothing. I don't care what you are facing in your daily life. It's, it named it out there. I don't care if you're in distress today. I don't care what someone and hurt you. You can call on the name of Jesus Christ. And he'll sweep in there with his love and move those things and help you through that, give you strength because you can't live this life on your own. Glory be to God. Let's go on. As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Hallelujah. And we know in our daily life, in everything we are going through, we are what? Like sheep sitting on the slaughter to be shaved. Come on. Be killed for lamb or whatever. We are, we are there every day. Things are coming against us. The enemy, the demons, whatever, are throwing darts at you. Come on. It says, it is written, for we are, for thy sake, for the sake of Christ. Come on. We are killed all day long. And we are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, come on. In all these things, glory be to God, we are more than a conqueror. I, why we are more than a conqueror? Because of Jesus Christ already overcome. He is the conqueror over all things. So if you are if you're, uh, in Christ, with us in Christ, and we're anchored in Jesus Christ, glory be to God, and with your faith or anchored in him, your trust is in the Lord, you are overcome through by your faith in him, of trusting that whatever I face, God, you help me overcome. I'm overcome. 
I am overcome over this. I will rise above this. This is the word of God. And this is your faith where we say it, that we know God loved us so that he gave his only begotten son. He loved us so that no matter what we are facing in daily life, Christ is there. Your elder brother is there to help you, to keep you, to preserve you from all evil. He's there to love you when you're hurting. He is there to lift you up. Because why? We sit with Christ in heavenly places with him. Glory be to God. We sit with Christ. We sit with him. Come on. And it says this. It said we are counted as for slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than a couple. Through him that love us. There you go. Through his love. That's why I say, who can separate God's love from you? Nothing. I don't care what you're facing. Never, never think that God don't love you. It go up there to tell you in the 31 verse, it said, what shall we say then? What shall we say to these things? If God is for us, glory be to God. Who can be against us? So if I'm in Christ, no matter who against you, God love you, for he love us. Why? Because he already gave of his only begotten son that we may have life and have it more abundant. Come on. In all these things, you say, nay, in all these things, we are more than a conqueror through him that love us. As long as I know that God loves me, no matter what I'm going through, you know what I praise and cry to God love me more and more. Let me feel your love, God. Let your love, God, shed abroad in my heart right now. Because I don't, I don't I, you know, I'm going through some weakness. But he said, when you're weak, know that I'm strong. See, you can't live, there. you can't be a overcomer upon your own. Only through Christ Jesus that you can overcome these things. Only through Christ that we can be overcome through by faith. All God asks us to have faith in God. That's what Jesus said, have faith in God. If you believe him at his word, then we know God will help us out of these things. That's what it is letting us know. We're going to go through the trial. We're going to go through the hurt. We're going to go through the pain. No matter the bad, what nobody do to you, what no matter how... They deceive you. What God told us, you love them. God, now do just what Jesus said. Father, forgive them. For they know not what they do. They don't. When you don't know that Christ wants us to, when we don't know that Christ wants us to love one another, then we, we walk in what? Unbelief. We walk in the, in the, in the ways of the enemy. The enemy comes with strife jealousy, envy, he causes, he entices people, Christian people, to yield to his unrighteousness. But with the love of Christ in you, no matter what someone done, I know they hurt you. I know they done you wrong. But that that does compare to what the love of Christ have for you and in you. For the greater is he that is in you then he that is in the world, then then this what we are facing, then these trials, then these these distressful things, whatever you going through is neck and is mean without anything. You don't have nothing. You don't have food. You don't have no money to pay your bills. Nothing. Knowing that God loved me because He said in His Word, I supply all your needs according to my riches and glory and through Christ Jesus. Glory be to God through Christ Jesus. Stand on the love of God, knowing that he loves us so. Already proven his love. Christ died just for us. He didn't have to do that. He didn't do that for himself. He did it for us. That we can have life. Now, through these ten trials, life in Christ, knowing that, yes, I'm hurt. I'm not going to tell you you're not going to hurt. I'm not going to tell you 
it, it, it won't throw you for a little bit, but you will always remember God loves me. And I'm going a, I'm to a hang on his love because his love will bring me out. Because I sit in the same place with Christ Jesus, in heavenly places with Christ. And he will rise, he will quicken you. The same power that quickened Christ Jesus from the grave will quicken your mortal body out of whatever you're going through in faith. And let's go on. And it said, I, Paul said this. He said, I am persuaded. Are you persuaded? Am I persuaded? Glory be to God. He said, I am persuaded that neither death, come on, no matter what coming, if death come in your life, trust in the Lord. It's not over. God love you. He will love you out of those times. He will lift you up because that's how much he loves you. That's the reason he said, who? Who me? Whatever it is. Whoever it is. I don't care. Don't allow them to, to make, don't let the devil use that to make you feel that God don't love you because of this or that or this happened. I thank God for whatever happened is for our good. Sometimes we 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 want to complain and complain about it, no matter what. If it's for you, God can't nobody take it from you. If it's for you, God 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 gonna take it out of the devil's hand. He can't take it, but you gotta believe it. But if it if it go on and it's if I lose it, it wasn't for me from the beginning. Then I'm going to go on. I got to go on. I can't allow anything to separate me to know that God, the devil want us, he allowed, He tempt us and do things against us to make us feel like God don't love me anymore. Because we, we see people do us wrong. We see people, everybody around you mistreating you. Hey, I got the love of God to keep going and ask God to forgive them. Jesus said, offense is going to come. He told his disciples, he said, offense is going to come. But woe unto them that do you wrong. Woe unto them. And woe is a bad word. I wouldn't want a woe to come up on me because I'd offend one of God's little ones. This is the word today to get us to examine how much God is love. And if the love of God in us, that love was shed abroad in our heart towards one another. No matter what you're facing, no matter what nobody done, ask God to rise you above it because it's not worth it to lose your soul, to separate you from God's love. Nothing to separate because I love God more than the than this world and these world things or what. We are facing, we have to be overcome. And the devil is a lie, and Jesus Christ is the Messiah. I know it hurts. I know it 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 tried away, but God said, when you're weak, I'm strong. So we have to depend on his strength. I try not to depend on my strength. When we depend on our strength, we worry, we allow the things that come against us to what? To try to weigh you down and press you down. But you can remember this, what the word is saying. We are more than a comfort. Through him who loves us in God, Jesus Christ, God loves us. Through Christ Jesus. Let's go on. It said, for I am persuaded, come on, that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principality, nor power, not things present, not things, glory be to God, to come. That means no angel can't do, do it for you. Nothing. Not even demon do that. Nothing will come against you. Because you're more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. You can overcome. Only through Christ. I can't overcome this on my own. See, sometimes we try to do it on our own. When we allow these things to constantly weigh us down, when it's trying to press you, the enemy comes to oppress the Christian. He's not in us, but he can. He comes to oppress us, to oppress us from the faith, 
than knowing that God loves you. When things, trials that comes in your life, problems or whatever we are facing, the first thing the devil say, don't nobody, the Lord don't love you, then let that happen to you. Yes, he does. I looked at it in my life, well, okay, thank you, God, for not letting me be ignorant. Come on, oh, Satan divide. What I rather for God to show me, you know, now before I get too deep in it and really be hurt and tore apart. And I thank God that I know that He will direct your path. If you trust in Him, He'll direct you, He'll show you things to come, He'll show you before you get in destruction. Now it's up to us not to follow the instruction. Word be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But it letting us know not principality, not power, not mean no power from anybody. Come on. The things present, not things to come. Nothing. That means nothing. Nothing. Glory be to God. Nothing. To be able to separate God love. No matter what. God love us. He love us. Nor height, nor depth, nor any creature, other creature. That means anybody, anything, nothing, what we are facing of, should be able, come on, to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Glory be to God. Nothing. That means no matter what you are facing today, no matter what if you are in a divorce, no matter what if somebody walk away from you, know that God loves you. God loves me. I'd rather be rooted and grounded in the love of God. I'd rather, I ask God all the time, I want to be in love with you. Because if I'm in love with Christ, then nothing can separate that love because you're in love with him. And you know his love lasts. His love lasts when man can't decide whether they love you or not. Man can't decide what they want or not. So if you're depending on that love or what that person treating you so good, and then when they walk away, it proves that to us where we're anchored, where, who is in control. Yes, it hurts you. But baby, you got to tell you, anchor that I'd rather be in love with God than to be in love with man. Because I know that love would never separate. And this is what God wants us to know. His love would be there whatever you're going through, whatever you are facing today. I don't care what it is that's trying to oppress you down or trying your word. I don't care. It could be your bills. I, I don't know, but the Holy Ghost knows. You know what you're facing today. But God loves you. And this is what the word say. Who? That means who? Whatever it is you're facing today. It would not stop God from loving you through this thing of pain. Loving you through it. Healing your brokenness. Come on. He said it's going to come trials and all this. He said the many of the afflictions. Psalm 34. Many of the affliction of the righteous if you are the righteousness of god through jesus christ many are the affliction but he said what i will deliver you out of all why because he loves us so much glory be to god he loves us the devil is a lie and i tell him get up you a lie god love me sometimes i say lord love on me now i need your love to love on me now I don't let this ill thing overtake me. You overtake me. I give him my heart, God. Give, take this heart and hold it in your power for him. Because with the power of God, see, we say we love God, and, and, and but the Bible says, no, God so loved us first. Come on. And that's the thing about, yeah, we say we love God. But do we believe God love us? See, when these trials come, it will show whether you believe that God loved me because I'm an overcomer over these things. He said you are more than a conqueror. Come on. Only through Christ. You cannot overcome this stuff on your own. You got to call upon the name of the Lord. 
And if you calling upon the name of the Lord, God is working on your behalf. Let's go over there and let's read this here in, in, in the same chapter. This is good. This is good for me. You know, when God give me something to heal me, to help me, he said, now you got to empty this out into somebody else. Somebody else needs it. When you going through and God bringing you out, you got to help somebody else. Come on, it ain't about us. It's about Jesus Christ healing somebody else. That's how much we got to love. We got to have the love of Christ that we be able to share this gospel, share your testimony of what God is doing in your life, how much he loves you in the face of all your trials. God still loves you because he shows us that love. He shows us, but we got to believe that he loves us. Glory be to God. Let's go over here to saying in Romans 8, but let's go over here to 28. And it says this, and we know that all things work together, glory be to God, for good to them that love God. Come on. And to them who are called according, glory be to God, to his purpose. Come on. To his purpose. Amen. Now, it's going to work out if you know that what you love God and you know that God loves you. No matter what the devil try to tell you, if everybody, you know, walk away from you or whatever. My life is not in people. They didn't save me. My, my life is anchored in Christ. See, if you're anchored in Jesus Christ, then nothing's going to separate that love. See, because you in love with him. He said, if you abide in St. John 15, he said, if you abide in me and, 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 and my love and abide in your word, if you abide in my word, he said, you can ask me anything. But you, if you're not abiding in my word, come on. When you abide in Christ, you mean you're connected with Jesus Christ. Come on, you are flowing with God. Then what? That love is steady flowing. God steady showing you love. I don't care what you're going through. I, I have seen God in the midst of my son. I'm telling y'all, I have saw God no matter what I was going, I saw God, I saw God. I saw God in those storms with me. It was a storm, but he didn't let it, it didn't let it destroy me. And I began to glorify God how much he loved me. I saw it. When I didn't have nothing, no money, no job, and don't have it now. But I see God, no, we got to look around the creation, how he wake you up in the morning, how he give you a place to lay your head. Then he loving on you. He loving on you because he breathed life within you in another day. That's love. That's when he said, I don't care what you're going through. My, I still love you. I'm going to love you. I'm going to be there with you. No matter what trial you're going through, what you in, I'm showing my love. I'm showing my love. This is the love of God. This is what he said. Who can separate? Come on. Who can separate us from the love of Christ? When you are anchored in Christ Jesus, my soul is anchored in the Lord. See, the, the Lord asked the devil, where are you going when it comes to the Job trial? He said, I'm going to and forth, seeking who I can defy. What do you mean? Seeking who I can stop, give them to stop believing you. That's what he was saying. But he said, oh, go, go on. Because God already knew Job. Huh? See, the devil, he all you take some things. See, he said, get the thing. He said, but don't touch his soul. See, so that go back to this. Job loved God, so he didn't let none of what go on in his life separate him. He kept calling on the name of the Lord. He kept going. God kept there, right there with Job, ministering to him. 
reminding him who he was how he created this earth, how he brought it back, letting you know I even created Satan. So it came nothing. I didn't prove my love. What more can God do? He already done proved it. Ain't no more he can do. Christ has already done it. The finished work. When Christ said it is finished, I mean we need to keep the faith. And trust God that no matter what I'm going through, no matter what's coming against me, what darts are throwing against me, I ask God keep me anchored in Him. Falling in love with Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. Come on, falling in love. We want to be in love, we yeah. are. But with you, it's the love of God. You can love one another. But see, with the love, without the love of God in shared abroad in your heart, you we don't know how to love one another. See, with that love, only with the love of God, not to pretend that we love, but to love still, no matter what. And that no, God tells me all the time. Remember what my son said on the cross. No matter what those people, but I, he was on that cross just for them. That were saying crucified, those that were spitting on, those that would nail the nails in his hand. He was doing it just for them. Now he could have said, Lord, get them. But he said, No, God don't hurt us. That's what he means when he said, Father, forgive them. Forgive them. For they don't know what they do. When people hurt you, the enemy use people because we're not fighting against flesh and blood. It's the enemy behind it. When we, even Christian, whoever it may be, being influenced by the devil, not yielding your members to the devil, because when you are influenced by the devil, you do, you obey him. But if you're influenced by God, you will obey his hill because the love will flow. It's got to flow. And you, we got to ask God to let his love shed abroad in my heart because I don't know how to love. I don't know how. But God, with, with his love flowing through you, his spirit of the Lord is love, joy. God is love, joy, peace. With that spirit of his love or fruit is running through us, then we're not doing this stuff on our own. I'm not trying to prove to nobody I can be this, I can be that. Only what people see in the enemy see, you see Christ. It's not I. I'm human. I'm in this flesh. But God told us what? Don't make no provision for this flesh. We got to obey God's word. We got to follow his instruction. No matter it hurts you some things, because it's this flesh. Hurt, hurt me so I don't want to do it. I want to do what I want to do. But still, God say, love, let my love, let my love flow. And I have to cry and say, God, help me. The love, let your love. Share. I have to cry and say, Lord, let your love. Because sometimes I don't feel like I want to love folks. I want to get back. But that's not God. His spirit flows, and I hear his voice that you've got to walk in my love. Let my love shed abroad in your heart. Forgive. I don't want to not please God. He said, if you don't forgive, then I sit cry and say, Lord, forgive them and forgive me. If I even have anything that's not like you in my heart, move it. And put your love there, because I can't love that person on my own. Glory be to God. I thank God for this word, but let us remember. I wanted to share this because the Spirit of the Lord tell me now. Sometimes we get ministry block. We can't get in there. I try so hard, Lord, what you want me to minister today? And so God, was, I, he ain't giving me nothing. So today, this morning, get at it. God said, go. Now you share your testimony. Share this word. Share this God. To somebody else that maybe need it today. You don't know. All I do is just speak it and let God touch the hearts of the people. Glory be to God. So we're going to end this good message today. But let us let us remember who can 
what can separate us. This is our topic, what shall separate us from the love of Christ? What? What in your life? But the word says who? Well, who mean whatever it is? Well, whatever, whoever it is. Let them not take your joy, your peace, because your peace is in Christ Jesus. Glory be to God. We give thanks for this word today. And if anybody want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, today is the day that you can say, Lord, here I am. Come into my heart, Lord, and save me. Wash me in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is constantly washing because Jesus went to the cross for the sin. All you need is have faith that he died for my sin. On the cross, my sin was nailed to the cross. And just believe and say, Father, here I am. Come into my heart and change my life. I give myself unto you right now. And I believe that you died. That God, you sent your son just for me to have life and have it more abundant. And God will reach down in and change your life. He will change it so quick. Just like that. So we thank God for his word today. And I love y'all. And God loves you more and more. And Jesus loves us so much more. Amen. Hallelujah.